Um, will there be uh, downloadable, downloadable content uh, outside map packs yes. in the future? Yes. Outside. I mean, not just map packs, because everybody, everyone expects map packs, but but will it be like single player content or co content or? Uh, we, we are going to be doing downloadable content. What that content is, we haven't even dreamt it up yet. To be so quite honest. Bit anyway. yeah. Single player content is very hard, and the reason that it's very hard is that. If you think of a single player level, mm -hmm. you're going to play it in, let's say, half an hour. And you're probably not going to play it again. Well, that's true. You'll no, play it true. once. And, and the problem is it takes us a really long time mm -hmm. to make a single player level really, really good and awesome. And it's just for the time required to make the investment of making a single player level that is only going to be played for half an hour versus a map on multiplayer that may get played for hundreds of hours, mm -hmm. it, it's a compromise we make. Yes, you know what I think, if people will ask what's the biggest thing they want downloadable content, a lot of people, I want single player content. It's just hard. Yeah, okay. um, and I think what we did uh, two years ago is we said, okay, here's some MP maps and here's a new zombie mode or a new zombie map. Um, I don't know what we're going to be doing this That's time. That's a good idea though. It, it, but we will want to do something that you know gives people some more variety in what they're doing. Yeah, okay. Bring the zombie mode back. Yes, <laughs> I know you guys announced. Uh, you guys announced about uh, this game for the DS too, right? Or no? Yes, we have a DS version. So right. how that? How that? Any new cool stuff there, or just going to be strictly uh, single player? Or no, nope, so there's work? multiplayer on the DS. I, uh, is it six player? Do you remember sure. the number? I don't know the exact number, but uh, yeah. no. So N Space is the developer that has done the DS SKU, and they've actually done Cod Four. World of War, Mono, this is their fourth Call of Duty DS game, and they literally each year just get better and better and better. Okay. Um, there's multiplayer, there's actually voice over IP on the DS, which we did this year, which is awesome. awesome. Uh, there is, um, let's see, there's a whole campaign mode, there's a co-op mode, there's an NP mode. Uh, it, it's it's a very, very deep and rich NDS game. Okay, so. that's cool. Uh, going back to customization, uh, tell me about This Is My Gun, a.k.a. Gun Porn. Gun Porn. So <laughs> the Gun Porn video is cool because it showed you all the different things you can do with the camo, with the reticle, with the uh, with the lenses. So let's go here. It's a creative class. So this is my weapon. All right, what kind of weapon do you guys want? Give me a pick and put. Uh, a rifle. Assault rifle. rifle. All right. So let's pick uh, the FAMAS. People like the FAMAS. All right. So attachments. So I want to put an undermounted flamethrower with a reflex sight. And so what kind of camo? There's all kinds of camo. We'll pick that one. Buy an equip. I'm going to add my clan tag on there. I'm going to add my emblem on there. And now I've done pretty much everything. I haven't unlocked reticle or reticle color lenses. You would just need a red light. Yeah. Uh, actually, so let me go and change my perk to give myself Warlord so now I can have multiple things on my gun. Back. Primary. No, I'm sorry. Attachments. Now I can add the other one. But you get the gist now, right? So there's my dude. There's his gun. It's all customized. If I want to change the camo, I can do something else. So now it's different. And what will happen is, is when I go in the game, match. Until we get to a match. But what will happen is you'll actually see your emblem you created. So. So that's the emblem I've made right now. I will actually see that on my gun. And then as you look at our, the poster, which we call Sitting Bull over here, when the photograph was taken, the photographer had Sally etched on the gun. And that inspired us to say, wow, you know what, that's really cool. We want to actually etch our clan tags on our guns. So when you unlock your clan tag, that'll actually be on the gun. And we right. actually released some screenshots tonight that actually has like Pwn or TKO written on the gun. And that's something you can just do yourself. Oh. And there's nothing to be more humiliating when you're watching a kill streak that has the guy's emblem on it with his clan tag that he's customized. You know, okay, that's the gun that's been haunting me, game in right. and game out. And again, it's, it's all the whole thing about personalization and customization. We want to make people that are out there just have a little bit more of an identity in Call of Duty. 
because we feel that that's going to give them sort of a little more ownership and even more notoriety. I think that's been done before. Um, we have this sort of concept of like I get to play. I'm in this giant world of a Call of Duty community, but I'm really alone. No one really, you know, it's, people know me as just my, my gamer tag. Right. This is giving my gamer tag just more personality with my emblem that I've created myself, with my, you know, customizing my gun myself. Again, giving people more chances to sort of create an identity for themselves. Yeah. And we'll be able to do that with the player card too. So you, you, your videos that you've made. Right, with, in, with all the emblems and everything yeah. that you've what, to do. Why you guys uh, haven't announced anything of like a beta for this game? So we're not doing an open beta for nope. Call of Duty Black Ops. Uh, we are doing, there is an internal sort of beta that we are doing, but it's closed to Activision only. Okay. But really that's how we test the infrastructure for it. But there's not going to be an open beta no for beta, Black okay. Ops. Cool. So if people try to sell you an open beta, please do not buy it because it's not true. <laughs> it's not real. Yeah, it's We've seen the scammers out there. We're not doing an open beta. Um, are there any plans uh, to release uh, Black Ops for 3DS? Black Ops for 3DS. Uh, nothing at this time. No. Okay, okay. Okay. Anything else? Oh, God, I think we're. So why, so why <laughs> gamers, <laughs> why gamers should buy this game in November? Why should gamers buy this game in yes. November? Yes. If they well, already, you know, they've been a fan of. Call of Duty year after year. Yeah, yeah. So um, why this game? Sure. So I think Call of Duty Black Ops brings a lot of new things to Call of Duty that you've never seen before. Uh, from the single player side, there's a whole new campaign and a whole new setting. You know, we've never done sort of this time period, which is sort of like the Cold War, the 1960s. You've got Vietnam. The game's really only about one third, 25, 30 percent Vietnam. We go to places like Cuba. We go to play. We actually have levels in Russia, we've got levels in China, we really kind of go across the globe in the game. We'll try, yeah. um, it is probably the deepest story I think we've ever done uh, in a Call of Duty game. It's I'm actually very excited to see how people respond to the story. It, it's, it's a very cool way of mixing sort of historical elements and really sort of, what I would say, almost fucking up fiction in a way so that it almost feels like, wow, that could have happened. And I don't know if it did or if it didn't because these were all sort of deniable operations and I don't really know what's been, that's real, that's been disclosed or not. And there's so much, in that time period, look, there's assassinations of world leaders and presidents. There, you know, there was people were one button press away from blowing up the world. And you kind of know that because it was in the history books, you're kind of seeing the movies, but no one's really sort of elaborated and created these sort of stories that are based on this. So it was fertile ground for us. And then taking all that inspiration to create cool maps in multiplayer and to add all these cool new features to multiplayer that people haven't played with before. I actually think it's going to be the game people are going to love to play come November. I must ask, uh, a sure. lot of our readers were complaining about the length of uh, Modern Warfare 2. It was yep. like barely four hours. And uh, will this... Uh, you seem to like the campaign. Is it longer? Uh, I would say that this game is comparable probably to World of War in terms of length. Okay. So. Just that was our cue. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hurry up, guys. <laughs> Finish. All right. Thanks All right, a lot. Thank you, man. Thanks All a right, lot, man. Guys, thank you very much. No problem. I appreciate it.